Good evening. Um, hello and welcome. Please subscribe. I use this fancy tool to open this beer. There you go. It works. Um, yeah, I missed a video last week. Sometimes in life things happen and people get busy with, with real life with work and get otherwise engaged with stuff. So uh, yeah, Johan is currently also not in action as far as video making is concerned. I'm sure he'll be back next week. I'm just going to do a quick run through on my own. So um, firstly, watch the Dragon's Stormers. Um, I thought it was a bit of a slow start by the Stormers. Let me take a sip of this lovely stuff. A bit of a slow start by the Stormers. Um, Dragon scored early on. Just gonna get the breakdown of the things here. And then um, after about 60 minutes, the Stormers just started giving the ball some air and then found some, some better continuity and the whole skill set started coming through and and scored some beautiful tries. And uh, the Dragons re really didn't have any answers for that. So uh, yeah, like most of the tries were scored after the 65th minute. They scored in David Sarouis and then two tries by Feinberg and Gomez so until, until then, it was really actually quite close. Um, and uh, the Dragons led for quite some time, which is probably a little bit of worry, but away probably not too bad. It's any, any away win is a good game, but you're talking about the bottom of the log team that they, they played against in the Dragons. And uh, so maybe not um, their best game, but sort of finding form at the right time, I would say. And then um, Edinburgh beat Zebra Palma at home as it would have been expected. Um, Edinburgh um, seventh now, so they're in the top eight. Storm is fifth, sorry, the Dragons are actually in 15th and, and Zebra is in 16th at the bottom of the log. So both those teams, um, the Stormers and Edinburgh, are in the, in the top eight currently. Yes, and it's a nice race for the top eight, but I'll get to that just now. Uh, yeah, so a comfortable bonus point victory there. And then the uh, Bulls at home against against Glasgow. And I was talking about the whole competition in, in, in general to one of the, the other sports stats friends and uh, <coughs> how sort of the overseas teams have adapted to, to playing at altitude. I don't think it's that big a factor anymore. They can actually run in quite a few tries and play an expansive game in the high felt. And the same with playing on 4G pitches, synthetic pitches, and in, in difficult weather over there. It seems like the South African teams are, are adapting. So the, the competition has sort of leveled out and has become strength versus strength. And it's not just all about home games anymore, which has made it quite, quite nice. Um, the Bulls uh, played well for the most of the game. And in the end, at the end, Glasgow showed their class by running running in a few tries and actually getting a vital bonus point to remain first in the competition. And the Bulls are in, in, in fourth spot. So they would really, in the next two weeks, try and get bonus point wins to see if they, if they can get, move up the log. Um, but yeah, a home win, a good win, a bonus point win. But it would have been a bit better if they did, could we were able to deny Glasgow that bonus point in the end. Ulster beating the Scarlets 31-20. Um, wasn't able to watch that. Sharks have been on a good run um, outside of the URC. And in the URC, they're in 12th. Uh, Benetton, but they could have done the Lions a favor by beating Benetton. They lost in a close game 24-25. Quite disappointing at home. Um, yet again, we've mentioned it so many times. They, they, they are this team ridden with spring box all over the pitch and uh, they just sometimes look as if 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 the team they're not don't gel as a team um, the style of play I think that Plumtree tries to you try to use that New Zealand style of really letting the ball do the work and getting it wide as quickly as possible and 50 50 passes shifting the ball in contact and uh, too many mistakes for me in that style of play 
and uh, and not really it's not really working it has been working well lately but now again it seems like they've regressed and uh, Bennett and winning that game huge win for them in South Africa at 24-25 to move into eighth spot which will they really could have done the Lions a favor there the Sharks and Munster beating Connacht convincingly 47-12 peaking at exactly the right time Munster in third place um, Connacht moving back out of the out of the top eight. It's sort of a yo-yo at the moment. And uh, yeah, Munster, like I said, Munster just looking very, very dangerous. Uh, the Lions beat Cardiff uh, 34-13 um, to be in tenth, still in contention. But you sort of it, it sort of comes to other things have to go your way now. Um, and then Leinster convincing against the Ospreys. They're in second now, the Ospreys in 11th, 61-14. And uh, yeah, just, they picked a strong team. Uh, Tyg Furlong even, can even kick the ball downfield and uh, make meters. Um, and they just, with all the stars in the team, it, they just had way too much for Ospreys. And also actually looking fantastic. I don't know if they'll end first um with the fixtures let me just have a quick look at the fixtures for next week um so only the two rounds left so next week we're looking at uh zebra scarlets really not a bit of a wooden spoon match there edinburgh munster a big one um Munster away, so Munster will be playing to finish as high as they possibly can. And Edinburgh want to stay in the top eight, so that's a real crunch game. Bulls have to beat Benetton, have to do the Lions a bit of a favour there to 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 see if the Lions can move up into the top eight, and then the Bulls to move up further, uh, possibly if Edinburgh can beat Munster. Then the Bulls can move up. So, so many things that can still happen. Ospreys, Dragons, also Ospreys should win that one. And then Lions, Glasgow. That also could be massive for, for, for home semis and quarterfinals and semis. Um, if the Lions can be, manage to beat Glasgow. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. But yes, when the Lions have a good day, anything can happen. Um, Stormers Glasgow also Stormers want to finish as high up as possible and they might even drop out of the out of the um, top 8 and, and, and a win for Connacht might put them back into the top 8 so big huge crunch matches all over the show um, in that one as well for me there if the Stormers have a good day they should beat Connacht and then in the Sharks Cardiff uh, sort of 12 playing 13 Hope the Sharks can win in Durban, but yeah, they've I think been showing up lately. Uh, well, last week, actually, lately they've actually been good, and then huge, uh, massive derby, Ulster Leinster um, at the Kingspan Stadium. Also, so many things can happen if Leinster lose that, if Ulster lose that, someone else can take their place in the top eight. So, yeah. A, a very very interesting super interesting time of the season and can't wait for 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 the next round yeah awesome cheers <laughs>